Hey guys, I'm Nice Mark, and today I want to show you a new kind of an update detector. It's the data update detector. So the difference between a dot and a bot is that a dot can detect some things that a normal bot doesn't. So for example, I have a notebook here, and if I right click the notebook, you can hear a piston moving. So this means that the change to data in the notebook was detected. Now what's cool about this is that the data update detector is actually one block away from the notebook. So it can detect changes to data one block away, as long as there's a solid block right here. Now you might have noticed just now that it also works just like a normal block update detector. So it is two in one, a normal block update detector and a data update detector. Alright, so now let's move on and see some different things that the data update detector detects. So it detects placement of almost all of those blocks here. And the exceptions are beacons and null blocks. So as you can see, it detects placement. And it detects removal of almost all of the blocks that have an inventory. And the exceptions are beacons and brewing stands. It detects clicking in all of the blocks that have an inventory. So I can left click and right click and it is going to detect it. It also detects placement and removal of items in blocks that have an inventory. It, it detects change to extra data associated with the block, which is called tile entity, in all blocks with inventories, node blocks, jukeboxes, codrons, signs, and command blocks. So for example, for the command block, if I write a command, or change the command actually, it is going to detect it. It detects when there are entities on a detector rail. So obviously the minecart, the boat, and shooting an arrow through the uh, above the empty space uh, above the detector rail. No, I mean, not sorry, not above the empty space, but inside the empty space above the detector rail. You trigger it and also shooting an arrow at the top half of the block the detector rail is sitting on. And obviously, it will detect the fishing rod. Mobs, obviously. Now, maybe he wants to get off. Thank you. Now, the exceptions for this are that it doesn't detect eggs and snowballs. Alright, so that's pretty much everything. And... Now let's move on to a few different designs that you could build. Now actually before I move on, uh, there is a dot chart on screen right now and it shows all the different uh, things that the dot detects. So yeah, uh, there's a link to the image in the description so you can save it and keep for yourself. And when you need help with the dot you can just look at that. Alright, so, yeah, now for the designs. Those first two designs were made by me a couple of months ago, and the difference between them is that the first design is a normal dot, while the second design is a T dot. So what this means is the output here is always on, while the output here, so keep your eye, keep your eye on this piston, toggles, so off, on, off, on. This design here was made by, by the YouTuber Dvirui. And finally, this design here was made by Redstone Innovation. So it is also tileable, so you can place those right next to each other. But keep in mind that you need to uh, toggle between the normal chest and the trapped chest. 
So place a normal chest, trap chest, normal chest, trap chest. Yeah, so you understand. And now you can detect changes to data. And it doesn't update any other uh, data update detectors that are, that are next to it, so that is nice. And yes, yeah, so that is basically it. So if you would like to learn how and why the data update detector works, click on the annotation on screen. And if you're on a mobile device or have annotations disabled, then the link is going to be in the description. Right, so thanks for watching and if you have any questions about the data blade detector, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Alright, so also if you have any ideas or su suggestions, then feel free to uh, leave them in the comments. I, I, I always read comments and I read every single comment. Yeah. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.